Elon Musk says Tesla will be aiming to get Cybertruck 0 to 60 miles per hour under three seconds, as he spoke yesterday at Joe Rogan's podcast, sharing a hefty acceleration goal for Tesla's upcoming electric pickup truck, Cybertruck. During his latest appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience, Musk told Rogan that Tesla is trying to get the Cybertruck's 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time under three seconds. The acceleration would only be available with the Cybertruck's um, Beast Mode version, as Musk described it during the discussion. We're aiming to get uh, 0 to 60 below 3 seconds, Elon Musk said. You know, for the beast mode version, so we've got a beast mode version. This is something new I hear first time, but why do automakers make this name like beast mode or uh, demon or Hellcat? I don't like these friends. If accomplished, the feat would be particularly impressive, seeing as the Cybertruck apparently weighs about as much as 42 f-250 according to another statement from musk during the conversation tesla Radi writes in its report last month elon musk said he had just driven the performance version of cybertruck going on to say the electric pickup um, is very impressive it's not clear if this is the same uh, mood that he was talking about in his uh, uh, exp uh, joe um, rogan uh, experience or show Despite Tesla announcing the Cybertruck delivery event on this November 30th in recent weeks, details about the vehicle remain still unknown, especially the price. Tesla hasn't yet released pricing or configuration details for the Cybertruck, though he did tell Rogan how much the vehicle weighed during the Tuesday podcast appearance. I don't know what's taking Tesla so long to reveal the price, but I think this will probably be one of the biggest well-kept secrets maybe tesla wants to reveal the pricing at cybertruck delivery event on november 30th to keep the suspense with cybertrucks uh, enthusiasts so you have something interesting to watch because everybody will be watching the event uh, expecting to think how much tesla will announce cybertruck will cost and whether it will be less expensive than the ford f-150 lightning or the gas version of ford f-150 I think Tesla has something to announce there. We'll look forward to it, friends. Yesterday, during Joe Rogan's appearance, Elon Musk also revealed Tesla Cybertruck's Wave and Joe Rogan's podcast. Tesla CEO Elon Musk made another appearance, as you know, on Joe Rogan's podcast that I mentioned today, highlighting some key details about the forthcoming Cybertruck, namely the two talked about the Cybertruck's wave, a detail that has been a front and center interest for many ahead of its deliveries next month. In fact, he said it's comparable to Ford F-250. During his appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience on Tuesday, Musk said the Cybertruck wave of between 6,000 to 7,000 pounds, depending on the configuration selected. Here's what he said. He said, depends on configuration, but it's about 7,000 pounds, Musk said, responding to Rogan on how much the Cybertruck weighed. There is different versions, but 6,000 to 7,000 pounds. It's a heavy truck, Musk added, agreeing with Rogan that it's comparable to a Ford F-250. In addition to discussing the Cybertruck's weight, Rogan and Musk also discussed its acceleration time and the electric vehicle's powerful stainless steel exterior. The two also went on to talk about whether or not the Cybertruck could handle a bow and arrow, which Rogan shared the answer on his Instagram this morning in a preview of Musk's podcast appearance. The YouTube version of the podcast also shows footage from the bow and arrow test that was not posted on Rogan's Instagram this morning. It's not particularly hard to guess how the arrow test turns out, especially after Tesla tested the Cybertruck's exterior with a Tommy gun earlier this month, if you remember, only to find it didn't penetrate the stainless steel panels. Musk also stated that there were other demonstrations Tesla performed with the Cybertruck's exterior, including some shooting it with a shotgun or 0.45 and a 9mm. You know what? 
When we talk about other cars, we're not worried about whether their shotgun hits it or no. Why are we worried about Cybertrucks? If you have any opinions, please let me know, friends, in the comment section below. Finally, we have some more information about the Tesla Cybertruck because Elon Musk yesterday revealed how many Cybertrucks Tesla aims to make per year. During a recent interview with podcast host Joe Rogan, Tesla CEO Elon Musk shared some interesting details, friends, about the upcoming Cybertruck electric pickup truck, including how many units the automaker is looking to produce per year. When asked on the podcast how many Cybertrucks Tesla can make in a month, Elon Musk told Rogan that Tesla is looking to build around 200,000 Cybertrucks per year upon scaling production. This is what he said. Musk said, we're aiming to make about 200,000 a year at volume production. He said, referring to Cybertruck's volume production. Now, pay attention. We're talking about volume production, not the beginning of production, not during the ramp up. And he also said, maybe a little bit more, but I just can't emphasize enough that manufacturing is much, much harder than the initial design. Not that the Cybertruck was easy to design. I'm not trying to tribalize design. What I'm trying to do is to emphasize the difficulty of manufacturing, which is not understood by the public because there is no movie about it, Musk said. Well, maybe the public needs to make a movie. Maybe Elon Musk, if you're hearing this uh, report, maybe you can sponsor a movie about how difficult it is to produce. Maybe a movie about Tesla. Maybe a movie about Cybertruck's run production. The stated figure would put Tesla at over 16,500 Cybertruck units per month for a weekly production output of more than 4,000 Cybertrucks. In May, Elon Musk predicted Tesla would eventually build between 250,000 and 500,000 Cybertrucks per year. During Tesla's quarter three earnings call, Musk also said that ramping up Cybertruck production would take 12 to 18 months. Musk's statement also echoed past sentiments surrounding the difficulty in ramping up production of any vehicle, like the many times he has referred to the Model 3's ramp up as a production hell. I don't like to use that word because hell is not a good place to go. In addition to discussing the Cybertruck production ramp, Musk shared how much he looks up to Ford Motors founder Henry Ford, even calling him a next-level genius. Here's what he said. He said, the emphasizing thing about automobiles was not so much the invention of the automobile, but the invention of the factory and mass manufacturing, Musk said. And for that, Henry Ford deserves a lot of credit. He was a next-level genius. In fact, Ford is really responsible for the entire mass manufacturing industry because he actually founded Cadillac, which was the heart of General Motors. Then he got kicked out and then started Ford. And then other companies copied him. The manufacturing details came among several other topics discussed during the podcast, which is uh, over two hours if you have seen it, friends. There is a very fun picture going on on the internet and social media where you can see Tesla Cybertruck towing a Model Y on a trailer in California. This gives us some very interesting hints about Cybertruck's capabilities. The Tesla Cybertruck has been spotted several times ahead of its official delivery event in November 30th but it's only been seen a few times while towing a trailer. However, in one recent sighting in California, the Cybertruck was seen towing another one of Tesla's vehicles on a trailer note far from the automaker's engineering headquarters. Tesla Cybertruck was spotted towing a Model Y on a trailer on Monday in Palo Alto as seen in a photo posted on Facebook. The Cybertruck is seen turning left onto Porter Drive from Page Mill Road just about two miles from Tesla's engineering headquarters in the California city. The Cybertruck includes the RC details seen on many recent builds 
indicating that the unit is a release candidate and is likely still undergoing some testing. Depending on the configuration, the Model Y weighs somewhere roughly 4,000 to 4,500 pounds. So the picture scenario shouldn't be a difficult tow for the Cybertruck, considering Cybertruck is going to weigh about 4, 7,000, 6 to 7,000 pounds. Cybertruck sightings have, friends, been common for the past few months already, with many pictures and videos of the vehicle surfacing ahead of its release. Many have also wondered if the Cybertruck will be able to be used as a work truck, and only a few have managed to catch the vehicle towing in the past few months of sightings. Earlier this month, the Cybertruck was seen towing SpaceX's Starship Raptor engine at Starbase in Texas, weighing around 3,500 pounds. Last month, one onlooker also spotted the Cybertruck towing a 24-foot trailer on a California highway when it was initially unveiled in 2019. The Cybertruck was said to have a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds. I mean, this 6 to 7,000 pound truck will have a a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds. Tesla announced during its third quarter earnings call that it would hold a Cybertruck delivery event on November 30th. Look forward to that, friends. The company is also holding a drawing to give shareholders a chance to attend the Gigafactory Texas event in person in Austin, Texas. And if you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. See you soon in our next report.